or they have had patients that don't speak English, so they've also had translators. They're pretty accelerated pace-wise. Today we were emailed our fall course schedule. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It is very early, just turned to 7 a.m. and I'm gonna get ready to go assist. So I'll take you through today. It's Thursday, I have a club Zoom and I have another rotation later today after assisting and quite a bit of schoolwork to get done. So it should be a fun day. Alrighty, we're back from assisting. It was a good experience. Um, it was an initial exam for a patient and a cleaning, but what was, I guess, a new experience for me was that the patient was deaf, so we did have interpreters there, which was, I think, a good opportunity. And also, I know some of my classmates have had similar situations already while assisting, or they have had patients that don't speak English, so they've also had translators. So there's both of those available at our school for patients that would like to utilize them and other than that though it's literally a normal appointment but it was pretty standard and I still feel like I learn a lot just getting to see little abnormalities between different people's like intraoral exams or thought process for treatment planning so I really do like assisting on initial exams or new patient exams but that was really it. It's 11 right now and then I have to leave around 2.30 I think to get to the dental school for my oral medicine rotation which is going to be in our ACE clinic which is the one that's kind of next to Sim Lab, the one that's recently redone which is exciting. That's just like a learning facility. There aren't patients in there. We work on each other. I'm not really sure what all we're doing with oral medicine. There are videos that I need to watch so I'm going to do that pretty soon here. It's pretty toasty though from walking. I'm not sure if you saw in those clips but there's all those white tents lining like miles of downtown because it's art fair this weekend and my birthday is on Monday it's Thursday today so I'm having some of my friends from undergrad come Saturday and we'll go to the art fair we have a dinner reservation at Palio and then we'll probably go to a couple bars in the evening and it should be a good time and then I think I'm gonna see my parents on Sunday to celebrate my birthday with them and then actual birthday day nothing will be happening because it's a Monday school day kind of thing and when you're in grad school, you don't get summers off. So it's a different experience than growing up. I always had a summer birthday, so I was never with classmates. It was always just like family, and then I'd throw like a friend's party, I guess, on the weekends. But super toasty anyways, what I was saying. So I'm going to put the fan on, eat some lunch, and then I need to watch those videos for oral med. So this was yesterday. I didn't get to finish all of the GU lectures. I'm pretty behind. Our exam for that class is next Friday. So today, I just did my assisting. Like I told you, I did the devotional and news in the morning. Um, I need to do the farm weekly survey. Gonna do that, gonna do that, gonna do that. These are just rotations and two meetings. Schoolwide student council, all the organizations have to have a representative there, so I'm representing a few orgs. And then we have a presentation to the D1s about AAWD, American Association of Women Dentists, our chapter here, I'm VP. And then I want to catch up on biomaterials, but most importantly, things I actually like have to do that are going to be graded is this treatment planning assignment entering again into my dent train, which I showed in the, a couple vlogs ago, the one that went up this week, but a couple vlogs ago for you. So I have to do that in the farm survey, and then ideally I would catch up on biomaterials as well as GU, but you know, we'll see how the day goes with all those meetings and stuff. I've been trying to do less stuff from my bed because honestly a lot of times I just literally sit right there and like do my schoolwork and literally like eat and stuff. So I'm sitting at my desk, but I'm gonna eat like I said and then try to get a little bit of those assignments done and make sure I watch those videos for my rotation at three. You're always 
Well, I got through part of the biomaterials lecture from last, I think like Friday before break. Then there was a lecture yesterday and then there will be one tomorrow on Friday. So there's three and I'm almost done with one of them. Better than nothing, you know? But of course, as always, I got distracted. I made this cute graphic for the podcast Instagram. Like I said a couple of videos ago, I'm kind of not like losing steam, but just not sure if I should continue investing as much time as I do into my podcast and into YouTube. It's definitely something I want to keep up with, but it seems like plenty of people post less frequently and are still successful, so I just kind of trying to figure that out. But if you have any two cents about posting ev both podcast and YouTube every single week, if that's something that you personally really, really appreciate, something you look forward to, let me know, because maybe that'll give me the motivation to keep doing it but otherwise I'll definitely post Instagram updates and stuff if I do decide to kind of scale back the content in the fall semester of my D2 year that's coming up but we'll see I keep making so many great connections though with actual dentists now that that's one thing that definitely motivates me and I'm looking forward to it maybe in fall semester winter semester I can even make some trips out to these practices because most of them are out of state to meet these dentists, maybe see what their practice is doing, make some good connections. I think that would be awesome. So we'll kind of see how time plays out. I often get stressed if you listen to the podcast that went up this Monday. It was episode 67 that went up this week. It was titled Why Dentistry. But one of the things I mentioned is that I didn't expect to be so overwhelmed by the flexibility that used to be, and still is, one of the things I love about general dentistry, but the flexibility does get overwhelming because there are so many different things that you can do once you graduate dental school and so many different ways you can go about working as a dentist that it does kind of stress me out and I feel like I have to know exactly what I'm going to do, where I'm going to work, where I'm going to live, how long I'm going to do each type of job, whether it's associate then practice owner or forever associate or like multi-practice owner. I feel like I have to have it all figured out, but I know I, like I know I don't, but I feel like I do. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that, whether it's with dental school or with something else, but that's my two cents for right now. Um, I'm going to turn off the camera and go walk to oral medicine rotation and then I'll be back for those two Zoom meetings, make dinner, and hopefully get some more work done later. But I could just end up watching HBO Max, so we'll see what happens. Okay, hey guys, it's the next day. I didn't film at Oral Mad or after Oral Mad because it was nothing new. It's literally the same as we did during our Perio S lab, which was like our Perio's final skill lab. And after that, we were technically like allowed to do cleanings and like initial exams on patients. So this oral med, we were just doing blood pressure, head and neck, like extra oral exam, and then the intraoral exam, which we had to do several weeks ago and we had this other skills lab. So it literally wasn't anything new. It was less than the other lab and it was very quick. And then I came back here and like I said, I ended up watching HBO Max, I'm watching Pretty Little Liars again. So that's what I've been up to. And then I just kind of hung out and went to bed fairly early. Got up around 8 today and haven't really done much yet. It's already, I think, like 9.30. I'm just eating some toast and I also have 
some berries that I just washed that I will snack on as well. I have a little gym fit on and I'm gonna go to the gym as soon as my very like light breakfast settles and then I do wanna come back here and get a lot of work done. I am looking outside right now and it's storming so that's gonna be super fun to walk to the gym. Yesterday I didn't work out because I walked to and from the school twice. So I had like over 10,000 steps and I felt like that was fine. And the day before that, I did go to the gym. So I'm trying to get back and going to the gym. That way I'm in a little bit better shape when we go to Alaska and are doing lots of like active things. All right, it is July 16th. So that means next week are the second to last and last weeks of July. And I'm moving out of this apartment on July 29th. And so is my roommate, like we're turning in our keys. So by the time this video is up, I don't live here ever again if you want to see like a tour and moving into dental school if that's something that's coming up for you or something that you're curious about i can link that video below of when i moved into ann arbor in august last year because we were online for our summer term and then i finally got to come here and be in person for labs and stuff but the reason i'm saying that is because i'm going to show you how much it's raining and i've never shown you guys my actual full window because safety I feel like you could kind of figure out where we live if you knew the area or something but we have like a walkout first floor rather than like flat to the ground if that makes sense we're like underground but the reason I'm showing you this is because it is raining so heavily and I know that I just said I need to go to the gym but that just seems so unappealing and I hate having stuff with me they have lockers at the campus gyms but I don't really like using them because I don't like having to lock it and then I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to unlock it. So I don't want to bring like a raincoat and umbrella and stuff. So I've been seeing a couple Mad Fit workouts, which is just a girl on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram that does really fun like workout videos to songs, like popular songs. So I think I'm going to do one or two of her workouts. So it's literally only going to be like 10, 15 minutes. And we'll go from there. And if it does ever have a lull in the rain today, I'll go for a walk. But I'm gonna do an at-home workout on the TV. And I get to use my new mat, finally. Isn't that embarrassing? I showed it like three weeks ago and I still haven't used it. I have been exercising, just in different ways. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, the next week, and I just got up, so I'm gonna get ready really quick and then I will update you some more about what's going on and take you through today because we have a new rotation lab, digital impressions. Okay, quick update before I head over to the gym. I'm going to the gym by the school. Like I told you, I'm gonna be moved out by the time this video is posted, but our apartment that I lived in all of D1 year is like a minute from the IM building, which is one of the like free rec buildings at the school. But we're moving next year is like not even by this part of campus. But the point is, I'm not going to that gym. I'm going to the CCRB, which is right by the dental school, because I'm meeting someone at the dental school at 10:15. It's 8:57 right now. I wanted to leave around nine, so I'm pretty much on track. I just finished eating some toast. I'm also snacking on some of this muffin. My sister, yesterday was my birthday. She sent me a coffee and a bunch of really nice like baked goods from Avalon, which is originally in Detroit, but they have a location here in Ann Arbor. And I had so many other treats. Like Amanda got me little mini cupcakes, which was so cute, and. My sister also sent me a slice of cake with that and then my mom and dad came on Sunday for dinner and brought me like a small cake so so many desserts dessert overload but thankfully I had a friend over yesterday to watch Bachelorette with us so she ate a little bit. I'm gonna go to the gym and then meet Nicole which is one of the other CDA leaders at the dental school because we're cleaning out basically like a storage room for clubs. Every club has stuff in there so we just have to certify that we sorted through it and put like a check mark on the box if we want to keep it there or put it to like donate or put it in the trash and that's kind of the game plan while i'm down there i might also look for aawd because i don't know if our president has a plan to look and i'm vp so i feel like i can just take a peek and at least like put checks in the boxes that way she doesn't have to go back there and then i'm gonna come back here and they have until 2 p.m. is when my digital impressions rotation starts, so we'll probably leave here around like 1.15, that way we're early. And I have to watch some videos for that, and I also have to bring my typodont. You scan your typodonts for practice, but we also scan each other's teeth for practice as well. So digital impressions is like the 3D scanner, so 
should be interesting. I don't know how much I'll be able to film during it, but I will try to film a good amount. And I'm gonna get some clips walking to campus and stuff. And if I think of anything else throughout today, I will also get clips then. for lab in about an hour. I was just going through this study guide for GU here. Um, super long, I guess not that long, 70 pages compared to there's 500 something slides on the lecture, so I guess it's more condensed. And then I watched the videos for our lab today and I did a quick reflection assignment. I want to do this one as well to get that out of the way and I just heated up some pasta that I made last night for dinner. I did get HelloFresh again this week so I do need to cook that at some point. After the impressions lab today I am staying because I'm helping with AO, the dental fraternity that I'm in. It's doing a mock tooth ID digital version so they're having a practice exam and then we're going to be available to help them if they have any questions after the fact. And while they're taking the exam, AO is providing us members that are helping out some pizza, so I don't need to make dinner tonight, which is cool. But I'm letting my iPad charge up here. That way I can eat and get this reflection done in the next hour and probably just hang out and watch video or something. That way my iPad can charge because I do need to use this. If I get out of impressions lab early and have some time to kill, lab starts at two, it technically goes till five, but I wanna, I would think we wouldn't be there more than two hours. And then this help session starts at 5.30. So I have a while, I'm expecting to have downtime, so I wanna make sure all my stuff is charged so I can just study at the school. And the exam is on Friday at 8 a.m. And this is for genital urinary system, one of the classes that started up midway through the summer semester. So this is our first exam our midterm and then we'll have a final in a couple weeks so all of our systems classes are pretty accelerated pace wise and I'm a little nervous for it because I don't really know what to expect of course because it is a new exam. Like I said impressions lab help session and I didn't end up cleaning out the Taft room the storage room for the club thing after the gym because the other girl was running behind schedule so I'm just gonna go after the impressions lab or after the tooth ID sometime when I'm at the school later. I did go work out though, as you saw in those clips, but then I just came back here because I figured I was sweaty and gross and was gonna be in the school later, so I'm just gonna do it then. It's sunny the most days You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down And if you take the wrong way Maybe you should stay instead of turning around So that you keep on going I know that you're in the open Hoping that you'll be okay Don't stay looking out the window And how late do you plan on going Don't 
stay looking out the window. Hey guys, it's the next day. I figured I would recap a little bit about digital impressions and also yesterday we were emailed our fall course schedule so I can also read off our fall class schedule. Not gonna lie, I'm quite disappointed but not surprised. I pretty much knew that our lectures would continue to be asynchronous but still I kind of had hoped that it would be in person. It is what it is. I know that we could probably be returning in person but they're choosing not to apparently mostly based off of student feedback on a survey that we gave about how our education has been online and apparently most people said that they want to stay online. So it is what it is. There's definitely pros and cons to online lectures versus in-person lectures. I am definitely team in-person lectures, but again, only so much we can do. I'll definitely be working with our student council and other people in my class that feel the same as I do to kind of vouch for us and our education to hopefully get to be in person for everything in the winter term ideally. But fall, I will read off the course schedule for you all. I will quickly recap digital impressions and then we'll wrap up this video. We're going to be in about 20-ish credits, so not too many, which is awesome. We had, if you remember, I think like 24 and 28 for fall and then winter of D1 year. But this one looks like it'll be about 20. So first class is Oral Facial Complex and Health 3, that's two credits and graded. The next class is Periodontology 2, which is one credit and graded with a professor that I absolutely love. He's a great perio faculty. And then we have our first class, Principles and Endodontics 1, which I'm excited to get to learn endo. And I think that class is hybrid, it says, because I think we'll have lectures, but also endo boot camp in person in sim lab. So that should be really fun. And that's one credit and graded. And then we have our usual comprehensive care clinic class that we have every semester. And this time it's going to entail our radiology rotations again, oral medicine, perio, grad perio, and then also assisting. So all of those rotations, assisting type things fall under that class. And that is pass fail for doing the reflection assignments and showing up to your assigned assists and rotations. And that's 3.75 credits. Then we have Clinical Foundations 2, which is just our sim lab class. Like I said, in D2 year, we're doing a lot of pros. So we're doing more crown preps and bridges and inlays and onlays, which I guess those aren't pros, but crowns and bridges. And then also dentures, whether that be removable partial or some for fixed. We're learning about that in a different class, but that's three credits and graded for sim lab. Then we have diagnostic sciences too, and that's one credit graded. And then for pathways, you're either in selectives or immersion. Immersion is a research project. Selectives is what I'm in, which is where you pick elective classes. And I selected a public speaking class, which is just so ironic. Like I'm going to be taking I'm not 100% sure of this yet. I'm not sure if it's on Zoom or in person. I would assume since all of our lectures are virtual and then only labs are in person, that this public speaking class would fall under more of the lecture category. So it would be online, but I don't know yet. But I just find it ironic if I'm taking a public speaking class over Zoom. So I really hope that we get to take that in person. It's Mondays, which our sim lab is going to be Mondays and Wednesdays, 2 to 5. And then that class, the public speaking, is at 5.30 to 7.30 four times in the fall. So it would be really nice if we could meet in person because there's only 15 of us in the class anyways. So fingers crossed because I would love to have as much in person time as I can get. I like crave interaction with professors and like having someone really talk to me just makes me much more accountable to be paying attention to get things done more productively and I feel like I learn more so that's that. But finishing up with the rest of the classes then we have Clinical Foundations 2, Removable Pros, Part 2, Complete Denture. So that's two credits graded, and that is the complete denture portion of SimLab. And then we have Periodontal Therapy 1, one credit graded. This is going to be our last systems class, it is Gastrointestinal System, or GI is what I'll be referring it to, and that is three credits graded. Then we have Orthodontic Diagnosis and Treatment Planning, so that's like our ortho class, two credits graded. And then that is it, other than your, like I said, electives or immersion. So that's the classes, and I can quickly recap digital dentistry. You saw a lot of it. Basically, we had two 
different systems we could use. We use the Omnicam scanner, which is a bit older, um, not old, but older, and we use those to scan our Typodonts, and then we use Prime Scan, which just came out in December. They're super, super nice, super expensive. Those are touchscreen, and they scan a lot better. The actual scanner, like that takes the photos, is quite a bit bulkier and heavier, which is a con to some people compared to the Omnicam, but it scans so much better, and it still fits in the mouth. Like, I never felt uncomfortable. Following up, we use the Prime Scan on each other. So we did the type out with the Omnican and then we did one quadrant upper, lower, and bite with the prime scan on each other. So I was paired up with my roommate Amanda and we put in the operates that you saw and did the scanning. I definitely liked the prime scan better. I did use the Omnicam on Amanda just because they didn't have a ton of the prime scans and we didn't want to wait a long time. But I got to try the prime scan out when Amanda was using it so I still kind of feel like I got a good feel of it. And both of them really, like they just take a lot of getting used to like whether you're going to look at the screen and then look at the type of you're definitely looking back and forth. I have to angle the head of the camera to actually see what you want to see because you can kind of capture the occlusal really easily. We use like the linear scanning method and then you go to the lingual and then you go to the buckle. But then you're still going to have some gaps either on the distal of the very, very back molars or you're going to have some gaps in approximately that you have to clear up. And that isn't as simple as just gliding it along the buckle. You have to kind of like rotate it and make sure that it's seeing everything that you want it to be seeing. That way it can fill it in digitally, but super cool, super exciting, not that hard. And they had D4s there to help us as well as the faculty. And it was a small group. All of our little rotations in Ace Lab are small groups, which is great because you really get a lot of instruction. I have my midterm on Friday this week for GU and then Monday is biomaterials and next Wednesday is the neoplasia midterm so lots of exams coming up and i'm just going to be studying i probably won't film again until i'm back home moved out of this apartment and maybe during finals week or something and then as you all know i'm going to be in alaska for about 10 days in august and then we start up classes on august 28th i'm didn't even post a video today and it's wednesday so i'm going to try to post most wednesdays but it doesn't seem like people care too much if I miss an upload or upload late or something, so I'm just gonna kinda do what works for me and try to keep it something that I enjoy rather than like a task because it definitely does feel like work sometimes, not in a bad way, but, but I don't feel as driven to grow my channel and stuff just because there's already so many of you watching and supporting all the time like way more than I ever expected so I think that my mind is like ready for something new I'm still gonna keep up with it because I enjoy it and I like documenting dental school and I like knowing that some of you are being helped by my videos so I will keep up with it but make sure you do subscribe that way you don't miss a video in case I decide to post on a different day of the week or something and I will see you in my next video